three big challenges which we have experienced and continue to experience. They are, to my mind, the three C's, COVID, conflict, and climate. We are the world's largest producers, uh, about 17 million tons. I think that's roughly about 20% of the global production. Now, where millets are concerned, uh, it's often regarded as an ancient grain. Uh, it's been, it has a history which predates the more modern cereals that we consume. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, millets uh, can even be found, uh, were found uh, in the Indus Valley, uh, some of the artifacts which were recovered from the Indus Valley civilization. But, uh, and where India is concerned, uh, we are the world's largest producers, uh, about 17 million tons, I think that's roughly about 20% of the global production. Uh, but we are part of a global production. Uh, about 130 nations out of almost 200 uh, produce millets in some form or the other. And we ourselves produce nine kinds of millets. I understand that different countries have their own varieties uh, in that regard. International relations, probably if you look, why do countries have relations with each other? What is the starting point of international relations? I think it's a safe bet to say that it started with food security that when you had collectives, territorial collectives, who wanted to deal with other collectives, their, their fundamental urge was really to secure their own food and to see if they could get food from others and see how this could be traded for mutual benefit. So I would like you today to look at this entire subject, both from the point of view of food security and from the point of view of it being a global enterprise, that it is something which no country can do by itself, effectively, impactfully, and it is something where the world would be better off if we did it more collectively. And that is one of the reasons why uh, we were so keen uh, that uh, to take what was an Indian year of millets into the world as an international uh, year of millets. If there are three big challenges which we have experienced and continue to experience, they are, to my mind, the three Cs, COVID, conflict, and climate. And each one of them, in some way, has actually impacted food security.